Welcome, we've just been playing around with Xmonads and changing the borders and the colors and the width. And now it's up to the next thing in the xmonad.hs file. So this is where we are, xmonad.hs. That's done. The workspaces kind of look awesome. And why is that? Because, oh yeah, because it's the awesome font, that's why. So this code here, is what we get from uh, the websites. For instance, that's maybe the easiest way to figure it out. So this code, the first workspace is a globe. And the globe stands for this kind of code. And that kind of code stands for, I don't know what you call this, some kind of cube and an eyedropper, etc., etc. So all these elements, there are 10 elements, one, two, three, four, you count them, 10 elements, and they're all coming from awesome. Now let's see, do I have still a browser open? Yes, I have. There is this awesome font out there on font awesome. And you need to find your cheat sheet somewhere. Let's try to find it together with you guys and see if the website is a little bit user-friendly. And if not, Google, not Bing, Google will help you. Awesome. Cheat sheet, that's the thing you need to remember, cheat sheet. And then hopefully, let's see what we get if we click here. So these are all the codes. These are the codes that we can have. So let's create something awesome. What code would you like to have replacing one of these guys? So then 10 elements are up here and you say, I don't like it. I want to have something else with fish, a fish, a fist raised. And all of these things are possible. Any of these things are possible. There is even an otter down here. There is even poop. Okay. Place of worship, a plane. Why not get a plane? So we get this code. We copy paste it. We make it sure that selected. It's it's blue. Control C. Okay. You move to this place here, and you move to this code. And instead of the first one, which is the globe, I'm just going to say, let's take the lead. Let's take this guy. That's very interesting. It's not a code at all. And we save it, nevertheless. Then we say Alt R because we want to reload new code. And we get still the same thing, but let's make this a little bit bigger because there are going to be some X monad errors. It says, hey guy, whatever this is, I don't get it. This is an error. So in the X monad errors file, he tells you that line 63, there is a code error. And it says it needs to be this code. So it's a workaround to figure out what actual code is that it requires. That's a neat trick, right? Nick Petrov learned me that. Control V. Save. And then we need to reload. Alt R. Let's see. Oh, there we have it. We have a plane. And that's how fun it can be because we have lots of icons here and you make your own code but don't forget to do make a backup because if you do scale it gets overwritten so be always sure to do a control c control v before a scale maybe if you've been working on it so a lot of a snowflake icon why not it's the same procedure over and over of course every if you want to change all 10 of them you need to do that exercise over and over so i think that's um, a neat homework <laughs> it can be a very creative challenge to say okay nice i'm gonna change all of the icons to the ones i want because maybe you'd like to have an icon uh, here for your music application or whatever all right enjoy uh, using and changing this menu up here